food over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Come on, you. I lost a lot of like my hands. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. To me, it don't really make sense to buy food over here. Public affairs life. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, son, you okay? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he, are you? Uh, what? My I, my face made bruise. He stuck his chin in my. Oh, he sees me. Man, he see that fire. I, I was trying to get him in action. <laughs> Supposed to be getting some detangler for his hair so he can make it all curly or something. He's gonna be looking like butt wheat. <laughs> he don't have locks. What, 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 
Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, Hey, so I was gonna go to a different spot. Like they got like one of the best hot wings that I've had since I've been here. <clears throat> but it's something about food trucks that I just I just love. And I don't know, maybe one day I'd own one, but I love food trucks. The food is, is different, it's authentic, it's fresh, it's right there. And also it's helping out small businesses too, you know what I'm saying? Kane's already got millions, Burger King and McDonald's, they already got, they already got their millions already. They got their billions. But you know, I always like to give back to the smaller, smaller businesses, you know what I'm saying? So now we're headed back to the office and we're gonna try this food out, all right? Let's get it. So I've sent divorce papers to this lady and she has failed to sign these divorce papers on three different occasions. Let's talk about that. Definitely my next spot right here. This is barbecue. See everybody's over there having a good time with their meal. And it's black, so. Hey yo, so these look really good. I'm 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 glad I'm saving these for last. These look oh I'm gonna smash those. Bet. Alright, so alright, so like I said, I hate that you guys like drama, but I mean one thing about my life is I consistently have drama. I don't know why, but some things are self-made and some things, you know, just come with it. So you guys know I'm going through a divorce. And for some reason, um, she won't sign the papers. This is I've sent papers three times. Uh the first time I sent them through the mail, what do you call it? Uh when you send it and you gotta get a signature. I'm not sure what it is, but I sent it that way and she didn't sign those the second time. And then the court was like, no, you can't do it like that. You gotta get it uh, served through like a sheriff or something like that. So I paid money for that. Then I did it that way and the paper still didn't get signed. Moving forward, probably, okay. Moving forward, um, I sent them, oh, hold up. So moving forward, we had to get the the, um, the visitation because at first it was a hard, hard time just getting visitation of my own kids. And I hate that. I don't know what it is with women and breakups or whatever. They always use the children. Not always, but more likely, yes. Yeah. So they, the women will fight for half of your money, even if they, they didn't earn it or deserve it. They want half, period. Even if you didn't do anything, they want half of your money. Well, I always say, be careful who you, who, you, who you date and who you marry and who you have kids with. But I always find it like funny, like there's no half when it comes to the kids. Now, clearly you didn't make them babies on your own. Okay, it took, it took the sperm. I don't care how small it was. I don't care how insignificant you feel like it was. You would not have those children without him. So it should be half. Okay, let's, let's get this. So these fries were good. I don't want to eat them all yet. But to make a little, little sandwich. Yeah, and I, I freaking hate that. So um, I had to go to Virginia uh, once again. And we did that. We did a little agreement paper type thing. So I can see my kids without any any stress nobody wants to be stressed you know what i'm saying the divorce is already stressful 
and then you want to combine and add the kids in there too. It's not cool. So we did all that. Um, I have a very limited amount of time with them. I have, I think I have two weeks in the summertime. Um, we're supposed to alternate holidays, which is Christmas and Thanksgiving. And then I have, I have spring break. So, and obviously, well, not obviously, part of the reason why it's so it, it's small like that, because I'm in Texas and they're in Virginia until I retire from the military. My bad. So I put it on top right there. Look at that. Now I've been doing raisin cane sandwiches before they even had a sandwich, but it's usually what I do and really good. Mm. Crunchy, tender, I like that. Mm. Really good. You want some more sauce, you can always dip it. Dip it. Oh yeah. That's a winner. So, the second thing was, let me drink something so I choke. So the second thing was money. Finances, right? Yeah, I'm not, I also dislike now, she has made it seem that, like I wasn't supporting my kids, and I hated that. And the question was, is Dad supporting the children? Is Dad paying you money a month, each month? The, the, the answer was always some bullshit. It was, no, he's not paying me, the Army is, which is the most stupidest comment ever. The money comes from my checking account to hers. And before that, it was um, I was always doing cash out. So there was never no time when I wasn't supporting my children. Another reason why I always wanted to put up text messages and emails, because people lie. I'm like, why? 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 So anyway, moving along. So that was the third part. Yeah, that was the third part the um child support first I, I was paying 800 for a long time and then it was um we changed it a few months ago or last month to 850. since then um i've seen my kids i had them for the summertime that was great and then hopefully um again i gotta see them again first of all Divorce sucks, period. It sucks all across the board. Like I said, it's so much worse when you have kids. None of the kids are involved. So, divorce. The only reason why I feel like she would not sign the divorce paper is to get more money. It, it, you ever look at your, your ex-wife or somebody that you dated and been like, what the fuck was I thinking? You know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of like how... When, when things get bad, they get really, really bad. Like our communication sucks. Everything turns into an argument. Well, who needs that? It's just more stress. More stress. The only reason why I feel like she would not sign the divorce papers is to get more money. Maybe she thinks she will get some more retirement. That's the only reason. Because according to her, I'm so awful. I'm so bad. Worst person she ever been with. You know, all this horrible shit. All that, wow. Okay. That was the only reason. We ain't get back together. Maybe it's the benefits. Maybe she enjoys being a military spouse, just not being a spouse to me. I don't know. I also don't care. I know that. After all this, all, all these years, we finally in a good spot. I mean, me and the, the, the judges and paperwork and all that, to where she doesn't have to sign anything. I just wonder though, if I'm so horrible, I'm so this, I'm so that, why stay married? I know for me, I wanna get rid 
of any any t any binds with this person. You know what I'm saying? I just want her to get divorced. That's it. I don't want to be tied down. Oh, you still married? I got to hear that shit. I've been separated since 2018, but I'm still married. Okay. People give me shit for moving on, dating, and you know what I'm saying? The whole time she's been dating, going out with men, nobody gives her shit. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very one-sided. It's bullshit. You freaking women, man-hater clubs and shit like that. And keep it real. If I'm so horrible, let's finalize this divorce. Sign what you got to sign. Let's keep it moving. From our, and as far as my retirement, first of all, I ask this question all the time. How many days did you serve? Did you put on any boots? Any appointments? Any of that shit? And the answer is no. Absolutely not. When I, when I deployed, because we only had one deployment while I was married, she was already gone. As always, I deal with that shit by myself, on my own. Same thing as I've, I've done with all the military, um, stuff, events, deployments, field problems, everything, all been on me. So why would you feel like you're entitled to what I work hard for? I have no idea. And if it's not financial, what else could it be? But I already know. Everything is money with that person. Everything is money with most women. I'm sorry. It is what it is. We've already established on this channel, on this platform, that women see men as financial, as providers. Even after the fucking the divorce or separation. So what we are to them. We're fucking walking ATMs. And when things don't work out, that's where they hit you at. In the wallets. It's really good. Really good. You even put the sauce on there, they're still crunchy. I like it. Not bad at all. Now, some of you was like, how are your kids going to feel with you talking about their mom on social media? And here's what I got to say about that. For one, my kids don't watch me on YouTube. Two, my kids are kids. They're eight years old and four and a, a one-year-old. What I got to say about it is everything I say is how I feel and it's the truth, okay? Now, I'm not calling anybody no bitches or no hoes or nothing like that. That's totally different. That's just disrespectful. But me, I mean, I'm, ki I'm kicking facts. Why, have you, have you signed the divorce papers? No. Have I sent them to you three times? Yes. So, are you all about your money? Yep. So I ain't said anything out of pocket. It just seems like anytime I say anything, not even about her, just anything, it's negative. Don't shade. You got a real job, education. Anything is shade. Well, bitch, get your umbrella out. I don't know what you want me to say. Get on my nerve. Things are going good. Not great, but things are going good. And I'm proud. Because for a long time, I was in a phase, I was in a funk, depression and all that shit. It was a really bad time. And every time I feel like me and my ex still moved on and we're at a better place and we're talking and we're supposed to be adults for our kids, that woman always fucking makes me feel like a fool always makes me feel like a fucking fool like you know what she ain't changed at all just just the mentality so i didn't copy the text messages but 
I will put those up. And just the way she speaks to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like she's, I don't know, like very demeaning and shit. And I'd be like, what the fuck is you talking to? And why are you even talking like that? I'm good. All right, moving on. I ain't gonna lie, saying I'm excited about this next one. It look real good, very pleasing to the eye. Smell good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So at first I was like, I made this channel to prove myself, or to prove to you all that everything that she was saying was not true. And it's, it's, it's still the case, you know what I'm saying? I told you, people like to leave things out. Now what you can say, you might not like me. I know most of you already put a thumbs down already. Oh my God, I already put a thumbs down already. When I'm telling my stories or whatever, I'm also implementing myself, okay? What people like to do is they tell the story without incriminating themselves. You know what I'm saying? They make the other person look to like to totally horrible, but they don't say anything about themselves. So you all honestly believe that two people was in that marriage and I was the, I was the only problem? Like honestly, now I, I watched back some videos. I did watch some videos and no, I wasn't the best husband. You know, I had issues and things that I wasn't liking. I said over and over, like before, like financial issues, it, 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 was, it was a problem. And I asked my ex several times to get a job, even on the weekends to help pay the bills. You know what I mean? We were only doing, you know, doing all this on my little check, but no. First you complain, but not having a vehicle. Oh, that's, that's, that's hot. Oh, that's spicy. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Mm. First of all, look at them. Make a mess. Let's peel this back. Oh yeah, look at that. That's good. That's hits. All right. Yeah, I was like, I need help financially. At least get a job on the weekend. I had already purchased another vehicle because that was a complaint that uh, she couldn't get around until I got home. So no worries, your husband will buy you a vehicle. I did that. Every time there was an issue and she brought to me, I made it my business to fix it. But I always felt like there was always something, there was always something. And she would complain about, this is after the fact. She felt like she was a babysitter. She felt like she was a babysitter. Obviously not to her own kid, but to Corey. My other son from the mirror, I was like, a babysitter? If you're not working and you're a stay at home mom, aren't you, I mean, common sense, aren't you supposed to do that? If I'm at home, and my a significant other is working and you know and she's gone and she has a kid and she has to get up and go to school wouldn't i be the one to do that wouldn't i be the one to do that to take care of the home and everything so it, didn't, it really didn't make any sense des wants a babysitter okay I got it. Most of you want to complain. You want to hate me. All that shit. It's fine. I'm glad you left this. I'm sure it is. I, I got it. Fact of the matter is. Fact of the matter is. Even though I'm sad about how things about how things worked out. You got my lip. It wasn't a happy time. You know what I mean? When we came to the point where 
I'm gonna try to work on it again. I, I didn't want to. I thought about all the times when we were married and in the same spot and how I felt as a man, as a husband. Was I being treated as such? No. Was I happy? No. Did you really think that she was gonna work on it and make it better? No. Now granted, like I said, she had her own reasons, her own thoughts. I wasn't the best husband, I already said that. I had issues, I still got issues. It is what it is. Like I said, on differences, I speak about mine. I'm way more forthright. Mm. I got two of these. Nobody's perfect. Nobody is. But it is what it is. Like I said, I was horrible. I was all these things. Narcissist, hateful, evil, all these things. Okay, why are we still married? Why don't you sign these divorce papers? No matter now. Her procedure's already doing what it's doing. I'm just like, wow. I can't wait. I can't wait. And as far as getting married again, oh my gosh. At this point in my life, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not sure. No, I, I know what I want. I know what I don't want. At this point in my life, I am not getting married. Yeah, there's no thank you. In my opinion, people have ulterior motives. They get with you for a reason, right? And I feel like sometimes when they get with you, And after they got you, they stopped doing the thing that they did to get you in the first place. Now people change, all right? Let's keep it real. All these all these attitudes and shit, you, you ain't gotta like me. Keep it real, people change. Now, people grow. What you would like to do, at least in my opinion, you wanna grow together. But what happens, what happens a lot of times, you end up growing apart. You end up growing apart. You forget what you got together in the first place for. I don't know. I miss my children. I'm glad that they were they're here in this earth. I do whatever to, I do whatever I need to do to support them, love them. But one thing I was not gonna do for my children. To stay with somebody that wasn't making me happy. Stay with somebody that wasn't appreciating what I was doing. Mm -mm. Only after the marriage, you see how hard it is to get your own vehicle, get your own place, have your own money. That's what I was doing, and you just took it for advantage. No, I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. I feel like both people should be putting in the same. <clears throat> oh, it's hot. Ugh. Oh my God. Is it this one or that one? Oh, I think it's the green stuff. Both people should be putting in the same amount of effort in the relationship. Here. Excuse me. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. <clears throat> you gotta match that energy, man. Mm. Oh yeah, that was great. My appetite has increased, I don't know why, but it has increased. I'm eating up everything, and therefore I'll start going back to the gym more. Oh, that was good, let me get hit, hit this drink. Ooh. Full now. We got three more hours of work. Um, thank you for watching the videos. Keep commenting. Thank you so much. One thing I've said before, 
ain't nobody begging for no fucking views. But if you watch me, I mean, watch me all the time. Uh, it, there's still videos right now that only have like three, 400 videos or views. And I'm like, okay. But it only see, it always seems like when I post stuff like this about my failed marriage or my rocky relationship, then they get lots of views. It shouldn't be like that. But I see you guys like drama. You want to be entertained, but it shouldn't be that way. So shame on you. But it's all good. Comment down below. Let me know why these divorce papers not signed. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about marriage. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about me. I love to hear about that. It's all good. And, uh, yeah. Also, I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think a successful marriage looks like or should be. Let me hear that too. I put a post up earlier and they got some, got some really good messages. Hey, so one of the reasons why I don't want the channel to be total negativity is because one, I'm not always like that. I have issues in my life and they could be seen as negative, but it's not always like that. My shit, I, I have highs, if you, if you watch me. I have lows, I have mediums, you know, my, my life is definitely a roller coaster. So, I mean, it is what it is. Right now, I'm, I'm freaking sleeping on the couch. You know, it's, it is what it is. But I mean, but I have highs too. Things are going really good for me. Uh, I'm excited to exit the military and I, I'm just grateful for each day that I'm alive. So, thank you. Um, thank you for watching the weekly videos. I'm still editing right now. I told you guys last time, so I'm sweating. It's just spicy. Told you guys last time that the uh sorry. <laughs> Cause last time shit cut off. Last time um I'm pr I'm pretty much doing two weekly videos right now. So I'm trying to have one done Friday and then turn around and still have to edit all this week and put that as but it's all good because you guys you guys do at least watch the weekly videos and I appreciate it. So I think instead of putting out one or two videos like I did, you know, so I just put everything into the, the weekly video. At least you guys are watching those. As far as my thoughts and views on life, as far as relationships, as far as marriages, as far as like how I feel. First of all, you can't tell me how I should feel. You can't tell me how I can feel. And also my 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 decisions, my decision making and how I think and whatnot is based on my experiences, based on my background, based on how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. If you all weren't raised in a household like mine, you don't have experiences like mine, well then I, I, I understand how you could not understand or get what I'm trying to say. A lot of you not trying to get. A lot of you just want to come here and bash, which is, you know, that's your prerogative. That's that's all good. Matter of fact, keep commenting. Those those that don't like me, keep commenting. Hey, hey, fuck it. Keep keep commenting how much you hate me, how how ugly I am, all this stuff. Please. Also, the positive people, keep doing your thing. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate all the comments, the emails. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Like I said. You all, most of you guys are cowards because you won't be as honest as I am. And it's funny because the more honest I am, the more you bash me about being honest. <laughs> instead, of, it, instead of bashing somebody about being a liar. So I'll keep doing me. I'll keep telling my truth and, you know, just deal with it. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Shout out to the food. A, uh, probably each week what I'm trying to do. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Each week, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go to a different food place and we're going to sit right here and we're going to eat it and we're going to taste it and we're going to talk. So there it is. Thank you all for watching. I'm Desmond Cassell and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, first thing we're going to do is start with our meat. I already had it seasoned with some beautiful, beautiful seasoning. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for about 24 hours. All right, we can go ahead and put it down here. As you can see, they're not chicken breasts, they're chicken strips. But don't worry, we're gonna make it do what it do. All right, 
So what I'm gonna do is uh, slice them real nice and thin. Let's say first I want to get some of this fat off. And I'm like, it looks good, but then you don't want that fat in the part. All you're doing is trimming it nicely. Yeah, go ahead and get that excess, excess fat off the chicken. I think some of these pieces I might keep because they still look good. All right, so for the most part, they look pretty good. Almost done, okay. Almost done. Now. All right, then all we're gonna do is just cut these the long way, all right? Like, so right here, it's a nice strip right there. Look at that nice strip. That's, that's what we're looking for right there. Nice chicken. Yeah, look at that. That's what we want. Nice. And then repeat the process. Obviously, you don't have to be perfect, right? But you want to get you want to at least get that that nice long strip going on. Bam. I gotta be perfect. That's what we're going for, huh? Up. My grease is already on. It's about to be ready, but we're not gonna rush it, all right? Now some of these I can't get much longer, so they're gonna be perfect. But if, it, if you see like little long pieces like this, there you go. I guess if you turn them this way. Yeah, I mean, they're all about the same. Trust me, they all gonna get eight. Whether they like a chicken strip or a chicken tender. You feel me? Yep. All right, now we got our chicken in the bowl. All right, next thing you wanna do is put some buttermilk over it, okay? Some people use um, I've done it myself. I've done egg yolk and I put a little bit of milk in there. Uh, but I have found that buttermilk uh, works like no other. Okay. Now the chicken's already seasoned, but it's okay if you want to season the milk as well. But like I said, I did season the chicken and it's been in there for 24 hours, but no worries if you do. I think I might add a little bit in there. But I know the one thing that you don't want, you don't want your food to be over seasoned. And if you like me, you don't want it to be under seasoned, see? I'm not gonna put too much in it, just a little bit. A little seasoning in there, that's okay. And I said, I said, don't worry, because we're also gonna season our flour too. That's step three, okay? All right, I'll put that to the side. Step three. You want to put in that flour. It doesn't matter what type of flour you use, as long as it's flour, okay? Say about half bowl should be good. And that's all right. All right. It is perfectly fine if you want to season your batter. That is fine too. It's not going to hurt it. Okay. Shake it up a little bit. All right, that's it, that's step three. Now you wanna combine the two, right? This is your wet batter, this is your dry batter. All right, take our chicken, put it in our batter. Make sure it gets nice and coated. I like to press on mine, you see me pressing down on it. That way I know it sticks on there, look at that. That's what we want. We want that right there. All right, put it on both sides. I said mash them. I say mash it. it. Gives it a nice, nice crisp too at the end. That's what we want. That right there. Take off the excess. Some people do a, a, a double dip when you're doing all that. I think the one is good right there. That's all we want right there. Just continue. Nice and easy. So what I do, I have two gloves on. This is my dry, this is my wet. Take it here, drop them in there. That way I'm not mixing and getting my hands all dirty all over the place. You're gonna get dirty anyway though, but 
I'm going to try to have it as neat as possible. Shake it off. Pow. I'm going to throw a couple more in there. Speed up the process. All right. Same thing. I said it's super, super easy. I've been frying chicken since I was a little kid. Because, uh, I mean, because it's so easy. It's really, really easy. And the, the thinner your chicken, the less time it takes to cook, all right? So if you have like a, and this is why I don't use chicken breasts. Now, you can still use chicken breasts, but I definitely recommend cutting them into thin pieces. Shut your pans hot, which it is. I'm gonna bring our chicken over here and we're gonna lay it in there slightly, nice and even. Yep. Take off the excess flour before you put them in there. Boom. All right, now these are gonna be done really quick because they're very thin. So I say about five to seven minutes or until golden brown. Pull them off. Already done. This, one, this is a lot more crispier. It's the first batch I put in the second one. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was just that easy making delicious chicken strips. That's all you need right here. Put you a little sauce in there. You set. Chicken tenders at home. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah. At home chef, baby. Morning, morning. <laughs> hey, I came here early but I in the damn car, whatever. I got um I got MRIs today, so I'm here about to get that done. I think I'm in the right section. Come on, let's, let's see if the camera can come in here. Good morning. Good morning. See. She was just laughing at me. That was funny. I'm still confused if we wearing masks, not wearing masks. I don't know. Some people wearing things, they ain't. So I got, uh, I got MRIs today. I got two of them and I got uh, x-rays as well then i got some injections for my back coming up uh, here we go it's still, it's still going straight okay i guess that's good So I failed, y'all. So they had me in the MRI thing. I've never had an MRI. I've had x-rays, but man, I couldn't breathe in there. So the first time it took 30, 40 minutes. 
And then for the second one, it was for my neck. So they had this thing on my face and I, I just started fucking freaking out. And they had to pull me out, I was like, oh hell no. So I always knew I didn't like like tight spaces, but I've never like had that type of attack before. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. Uh -uh, I couldn't breathe. I started sweating profusely. And I was like, oh, I out of nowhere, I just started breathing hard. I like started getting hot up in there. I was like, no, sir. No, I'll take me out. Mm -mm. Oh. So this actually might might uh, stop my treatment from my neck and my, well, at, at least from my neck. Um, I was supposed to get x-rays too, but I'll go to the hospital on base and get those. But I'm good. I, I, I don't, I, you would never catch me at like no no rock climbing or you know that cave shit when it's super tight man I, I wouldn't make it i'd i'd be dead instantly <laughs> i don't like that shit never never been a big fan of that all right so i'm gonna um head to work change well actually i think i'm gonna get my x-ray first um at the hospital and then i'm gonna change in uniform and um start the work day so thank you guys for being here i appreciate you if you if you had an MRI before, you know what I'm talking about. That shit is super tight and it's very uncomfortable. And that shit was like 40 minutes. I'm like, dude. And it's loud and you hear these noises and my heart guard beating. And I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know. We'll see. Peace. I told you that I have to get the vlog sometime. But it could change clothes. Most folks carry that shit on a hanger. That's all I got right here. Let's get this finished. Might do a few reps real quick. Might do a little. Might do some push ups. Get back in the gym, man. Got the damn body ain't looking the same. Look at that. I ain't got no abs no more. It's all good. I like this mirror. It's fire. All right, I'm all dressed, ready to heat it up. Now I'm gonna uh, try to get some breakfast. I think I'm gonna do IHOP and then uh, we'll get back to the work. Let's get it. Change of plans, <laughs> just that quick. Uh, there's a task that just came down for photos and videos, and of course, yours truly task for it so uh we'll, we'll just get some good lunch or something like that and then we'll have a let's talk so see you guys later. Like the, the only the only advantage that has So I've eaten at most fast food restaurants, especially when it comes to like hamburgers and fries. I'm pretty, I'm pretty knowledgeable on that. So apparently this is number one. That means this beats out McDonald's, it beats out Whataburger, beats out Burger King, but we gonna see for ourselves. Oh yeah. 
And you know what's funny that I've noticed? As nervous as I am to record people, people are just as, um, I say, awkward to be recorded. I'm like, ma'am, I'm not getting you. I'm getting the food. I'm not recording you. I mean, I'm recording you handing me the food, but I mean, you aren't the star. The burger is, but it looks really good. Hey, first and foremost, let's talk about looks. Your ketchup comes into a look, has a little baggie. That looks so sophisticated. And just the display of it looks really, really good. You don't ever buy McDonald's and they shit look like this. Fries aren't bad. Ain't that good though. Burger is pretty, pretty nice size. Okay. The patty look pretty small. Let's go and try this thing out. We're gonna dissect it. It looks good. Got that little sauce I be making. And it has a whole thing of onion on it. Okay, yeah, let's just take let's take some of this off and take that first layer. Okay, I mean it looks it, it looks really good. It's very very nicely put together. Okay, now we gotta bite it. That's good. really good though it's a nice crunch nothing Oof. more bite hold on Okay, so let me rate this, all right? It's not nasty, it's good. Now I already told you these fries are not the best fries. Whataburger has better fries, Chick-fil-A has better fries. But we're talking about this burger. It's better than, it's better than McDonald's. I still like Burger King's burgers. It's not bad though. But I wouldn't say it's number one. My number one. If you have In-N-Out Burger by you, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Look at this baby in the office. <laughs> About to be crawling. Awesome. So we're at work. We're in the office on the floor. <laughs> the baby's just chilling. She's gonna be walking soon. It's hot in here. See me sweating. The rice I use. This is uh, Goya. All right, so we use four cups of water in there. And we're gonna pour two cups of rice in here. Put it in there. All right, so my two cups, put them in here. Now I'm gonna rinse them. Maybe use a plate.
this is for our spinach. Three handfuls. And it is gonna cook down. No, I didn't wash it, it'll be okay. But you can wash yours, okay? No worries, just wash yours. I'm just gonna put it on there like that, all right? Okay, so our spinach is already cooking. As you can see, it's in there sweating. And all it's gonna do is cook down. Before we get over there, let's check. Look at that rice. Oh yeah, she ready to go. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that our pan is nice and greased. Okay, nice little oil on there. Everything in one pan. Well, first of all, they won't go, everything won't go fit in that pan. And this, in my opinion, is way, way better. All right, we're gonna do a start with our veggies first. I always do my veggies first. All the garlic on there and all of the onions. So we're gonna put our mushrooms on there. All everything, everything go together. Without any salt and pepper or any season, it already smells good by itself. Okay, lastly, now we're gonna put on the steak. Now I have it on the highest setting right now. It's right now keeping it at 100. We're gonna turn it down in a little bit. We want to make sure it gets nice and uh, cooked. What do you call it? Down, salt, and then we'll turn it down. Now, the first thing we're going to hit it with you all is some, well, it's not soy sauce or either teriyaki sauce. Get a little bit on there. On this too. Let's go ahead and merge them. Put them all together. No more segregation. I think I should invest in a walk. But then. All right, so now everybody's friends. Everybody's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next ingredient is going to be sesame oil. I didn't really measure this couple of dabs. Mix that in as well, it already smells great. I'm gonna turn it down, and let it slow cook a little bit. Come back over here and check on our spinach. It's doing great. Oh, yeah. So as you can see it's nice and sweated. It has a lot of water in it, okay? Probably because we put water in it, but that helps with the steam, okay? As you see it all cooked down, which is great. I'm gonna pour some of this water out. That's good. Probably should have added some more oil. I think I am. So this is round one with the spinach. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add four more scoops. Go back here. Just gonna put it right here. Let them get in there. Like I said, we're gonna mix it all together. We all friends here. It's got a little bit of extra juice. Probably should have drained that, but it's all good. Look how nice and green that stuff is. The spinach is. I let that juice and stuff drain as it's coming from the spinach. Like I said, it was mostly water. Let it drain. Add a little bit of salt. Black pepper. And a little bit of hoisin sauce. Hoist. Oh shit. I about to say it's like molasses. Mix that in there. Get in there, hoisin. Alright, so that's ready. 
Alright, one more thing though. Put the oil over here. Don't worry about that mess. Rice is cooked very well. Thank you for my teacher. Put us a nice little helping in here. More veggies for me, please. Oh yeah, no worries. Right on top. Top it with some sesame seeds. There you have it. Let's see what we have. So it already looks great. Smells great. I'm trying to get rid of everything. Oh yeah. Mm. So good. My bad. I should be talking right. I'm sorry. My bad. But really good. I want to make sure I taste everything. The, the, the steak was cooked perfectly. Rice is done. The spinach is good. I think I could have used a little bit more uh, fish oil, but oh, really good. It needed a little bit more, a little bit more for me, but oh yeah, that was it. That was good. That was it. Mm. Everything good. Mm. Let me next time I fry the rice too. I put the whole thing in the pan. Everything really good. Mm. This is what you want, guys. Yum yum. So. As you guys see, I didn't use a lot of seasoning. I didn't use a lot of anything. I still wanted it to be healthy and I still wanted it to be good. That's exactly what it was. I want to get everything every bite. Like, I want spinach every bite. I want a piece of egg. I want some of the steak. I want the onions. I want a mushroom. I want everything every bite. And that's what you get right there. Look at that. No mushroom, man. Where'd they go? I'll be good. I didn't do no intro. My bad. Me, I like that. I'm full. Quick, easy, delicious. Go for what you know, baby. Mm, not good. Mm -mm -mm. You want some? I don't know. I'm gonna start charging y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Quick, simple, easy to make. All right. It was still good, still healthy. I challenge you all to make this right here. Really good. Onions, mushrooms, spinach, rice, steak. Easy. Easy. Healthy. Still came out good. Hey, comment on this video. Give it a like. Comment down below if you guys make this. If you have tips and whatever, let me know. Peace. You all know what it is. The first thing, when you got pissed off, you hit below the bill. Next time, get your own place. Okay. It's not about what can I do to help make this better. It's about you being pissed off and what you can say to get under my skin. That's what you did. About us, you was worried about making sure that you got your child support and your visitation together. So yeah, I am a little high strung. Cause I know at the end of the day, when we done, you're not gonna give a fuck what happened to me and my finances about this place. So yeah, I do feel some type of way. All right. This is our current situation. Our son had picked this up. This, this shit is poorly put in anyway. They don't see that. Oh. They not gonna see that. They don't care about that. They care about what's destroyed. I know that. Okay, so I'm gonna fix it. And with something to do. So all that carrying on, don't even. This doesn't have to do shit. Just add. Okay, let me finish. Anyway, like I was saying. Yeah. Anyway, so. Kobe pulled this down. Yep. Oh my god. Alright. 
So we got some, this is the brush kind, super glue, this is the construction. So this is a little bit more. There you go. All right, so this, I mean, the place that we stand at isn't super put together. It's enough just to make it. What I hated is like, I don't know what y'all heard. I don't know what I recorded. I stopped recording, I probably shouldn't have, but like, Every time it's an argument, like, it, it just goes to the fucking extreme. I, I hate that shit. Like, what the fuck is you talking to me crazy? It needs to be fixed. Okay, let's fix it. It don't need to be all that crazy talk. Every time I think we're in a good spot, I always get reminded, like, where we at. All right, y'all, it's Friday, it's breakfast. I'm hungry, you need something to eat. Let's go back to the spot. Right. All right, we're back here. I think we're gonna go with this omelet right here. So I'm not a business person. I didn't went to school for business. I didn't went to school for social media or anything like that. Um, but, I mean, most people know that social media is the way to go. That's the way to advertise now. So if I see a place that I think is good or a business that's, that's pretty good and people want to get that stuff out, I mean, social media is the way. And I, I just told them, I was like, uh, your food is delicious. It's really, really good. Um, if you have a Google... Um, I would definitely leave like a reply, um, make sure you're taking pictures of the food, you know, stuff like that. And um, that's just food for thought. That's just how you get your name out. Because if you go on Google and you're like rated, when they type in um, your type of restaurant or soul food, best soul food or best, you know, your stuff pops up like that and you, then you get recommended. So that's, that's definitely just a little bit of food for thought. I'm just talking here because I really enjoy their food. And like so much that, I mean, when I went there the other day and shared it with you, I was like, oh, this is great. I knew immediately I was coming back. So therefore their display was good. Their food is good. And now like the next thing, the next thing is getting them, uh, you know, you out there to the masses. So that's just me though. I knew I was coming back. Especially when I saw that I had breakfast. I was like, we had breakfast too? Y'all got breakfast? Oh, I'm finna get in there, y'all. Something been going on with my mic too. Like when I'm editing my videos, I've noticed like the sound is going in and out. I don't like that. That's why I gotta use the mic sometimes. I'm like, do I always gotta use the mic? But then sometimes, I mean, it sound good. So I don't know, maybe it's the way I'm talking. Maybe my fingers are over the, the speaker or something like that. But I've been vlogging this way for like forever. 
And then T-Mobile just notified me that I, I it's time for me to get an upgrade. So I may be getting the new iPhone 14, which is pretty much the same as the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but better. So we'll see. Um, I'll go by there this weekend and see what my options are. Welcome back, people. Today is Friday, the 21st, Zakia's birthday. Happy birthday, Zakia. And we got some breakfast, guys. Today, uh, this is from the same spot that I had last time. It was so good that I had to go back. I had to go back. Once I seen that they had breakfast, I was like, oh, I'm in there. I'm in. Let's see what they got. This is both of our first time seeing this. So what I got, I got an omelet, all right, and I got um, it's an om it's a birria omelet. So as soon as I open up, I, I didn't even bite the the quesadillas that I got last time. But as soon as I open it up, I was like, "Yep, I'll be going back here again." So this looks dynamite. Uh, last time I didn't record uh, the food so well, so you guys can hear me. So you ain't gotta see my face. But this looks amazing. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try it. So this is a omelet with birria. Oh man, look at it already. It looks great. All right, then I'm about to go in. What is that? Mm. Oh yeah. I don't, eat, I don't eat everybody food, y'all. This is this is really good. This is a really good spot. It's underrated, and people don't know about it. But if I can help promote, I definitely would. If somebody would recommend, somebody would recommend or ask me, Dad, can you recommend a place that has good tacos, good Mexican food? I'm like, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so the weekly video, it's, um, I want to say it's done, but it's not. I think I did too much. And, um, quite honestly, there's a couple of pieces in there that are like, dare I say boring. <laughs> and I'm just trying to spice it up the best way I can. And I don't want it too long. I don't want it too flow into the other week and sit like that because then it won't make sense. But I also feel like I may be overthinking it. I told you I don't I don't like too much days going without posting a video. So there's there's that. Mm. So um, I, I wanted to answer some questions that I get that I didn't get to the other day in the live. Um, and, and one of the questions that stuck out was, do I think that or the question was, do you think that, that you and Zakia rushed in um, their relationship? So so let me say this. Um, I was said no shade. Nothing like that. This is just a straight question. So what is rushing? Like, what is too early? What is it? Um, I felt like I knew for a fact that Akira and I were not getting back together. And I mean, I, I do think maybe I should have took some more time. I also felt like an opportunity to, I don't want to say, uh, rekindle an old flame. And I, mean, I always wondered, like, what would happen if I would have been with Zaki instead of a Kiara. <laughs> you know, so I, I just took up and I just took it. 
I just took it. It, it was an ultimatum um, from the get go, so it was, I had a choice. Oh, the choices are always mine. Hold on, let me see something. Oh, there you go. The, the choices are always mine. And I mean, I chose to be in a relationship. So it's me. I, I could have said no. Not right now. I'm figuring my stuff out. I got all these issues going on. So I could have said no. But I chose not to. And um, I don't regret anything. I just hate that it involved a child. Once again, it, it involved a child in a relationship that's, you know, looking like it's not going to be together and to be able to raise our child together. So that's the part I hate. I didn't try this sauce. I'm pretty sure it's spicy. Holy cow, it was good. I mean, it's good though. Lots of flavors. Lots of flavors. Um, you can definitely tell they use jalapeno. Maybe some habanero. But the mushrooms, I mean, the, um, the onions and tomatoes are very fresh. Let me pour some on my stuff. Mm. Pour a little bit on there. run get in there but that's good so you know I don't I can't do anything about the past but the future is it is what it is I just want to make best the, the best choices that I can make the best choices that I can make and <clears throat> go on for there go on from there It was spicy, but it's good. So that, I mean, that's really all we can do is just like you know, learn from our mistakes, our past, and and move on, and um, take that which what we learned and make better a better decision. And getting a vasectomy was was a was a good decision, and I don't know if I spoke about it, but I was gonna get one earlier before I had. Um, before I had Kobe, that was one of the, I was said, it was all of my decision making because I could have been got one. And Kalia would have been my last child. But I said, these are all my choices. Spend your money for something. You want to know that you know it's um, that it was money well spent, and this is this is money well spent, right? Look how big these chunks are. Everything is really good. That that, that bite was it was just so tender. It was good. It's a good spot. Hell yeah. Try something spicy. I'm mean, just spicy, but it's good. So not not overbearing, you know what I mean? That just as just amount, the right amount of spice. Spread hit. They got some French toast too, so I'll be going back. I want to go back and try a little bit of everything. Mm. Um, one of the things that I want to try is Korean barbecue. Or it's it's a Korean place. I'm I'm not really sure. It's also a noodle place that I want to try. And all they sell is like is is, is noodles, different kinds of course. So I'm gonna be bringing food to you because if I ain't cooking, I still gotta eat.
So um, I reposted a video of this woman saying that marriage is hard work. She said before her and her husband got together, they split up twice. Stop believing this Disney fairy tale of relationships. In the five years I've been with my man, we just got married in December, we split up twice during that time, twice. And you know, we didn't split up for somebody else. We split up because neither one of us were healed enough to be able to be in the relationship. Oh. Hurt people hurt people, but healed people heal people. And they said, she said that they split up because they weren't healed. They weren't healed enough to come together and so it took some work that that's that that really hit that really hit that she was like of course I, I keep hearing that hurt people hurt people and then she said healed people heal people so like i said this is a journey it's, it's the journey that i'm going through i'm grateful for my journey like i said the good the bad the ups and downs it's all a learning process and as long as i'm getting better getting wiser and actually using the steps in my life, well then I'm I'm I'm, I'm grateful for that. I, I know that I would prosper. It's hot in here. I don't know if it's the spices or what, but I know I would prosper. I, I know that. I keep saying the better I am, the, the better it's gonna be for my children, and um, you know, me being a better father, better husband, better man, better whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the journey. Thank you all for being here. Hope you guys enjoy this breakfast. Happy Friday. Um, I'm about to go double, double this, uh, double edit this this weekly vlog because it's a, it's an hour and 30 minutes. I'm trying to at least break it down to an hour. Um, I don't want to bore you guys, so I try to break it down every like five minutes, you know, five minutes something else. You know, I'm I'm looking at it myself to make sure. So if I get bored looking at it, editing it, then I can imagine how you guys are. So. I always try to make it like not too long, but also keep it interesting, energetic, things like that. So thank you for watching. This is Desmond Cassell and I am out.